Okay, so we're going to move on with um, development of microstructure upon cooling and heating processes of certain alloys. So we're going to take a look at this isomorphous binary alloy, which composed of, uh, for example, here we, we are taking this copper nickel system. So imagine if we have this um, cooling process, okay, or the solidification process, what we call as sorry, solidification process of this alloy at 35% of nickel. So this is 35% percent of nickel all right so we're going to start with this temperature 1300 at point a as we can see that at point a this system is all in liquid phase okay the alloy is completely liquid and it has a microstructure actually represented by this plane circle here there is no development of any solids. It's just totally liquid. And upon further cooling of this alloy at this composition, and when it reaches this liquidus line, at a temperature is probably here, one to, um, hang on, one to six zero. One to six zero degrees Celsius. So at point B, we can say that the first solid alpha. So this is the developed microstructure um, of this alloy at point B. We can say that um, solid alpha begins to form. Okay, which has a composition dictated by the tie line. So this is the microstructure. This is how the microstructure looks like at point B. This is um, inside here, it's just liquid. Okay. And this one, this is solid. So we can say that this is alpha, alpha solid. It begins to appear. So if you want to know the composition of alpha at this B point, you just draw a tie line. Okay which crosses both liquidus and solidus line and the composition of alpha at this point is this one which is 46 percent nickel okay as it cools further down it move on to this point c in which the alloy is located in this uh, two phase field l plus alpha okay so the microstructure that develop at this point it will look something like this in which the small solid of alpha is getting bigger and bigger okay so this is your solid and inside here we do still have liquid okay so it moves further down at point D where it reaches this solidus line Okay, solidus line. So at this point, you can see that the microstructure will have something like this in which the alpha solid is getting much bigger and the liquid um, area is getting smaller, meaning that there are more solid compared to liquids. And the composition of the liquid phase at this D point is just the intersection of this tie line with this liquidus uh, line. So the composition of liquid at D point, liquid phase, all right, is 24% of nickel. Mm. Okay, next, upon crossing this solidus line in which the D point will cool down further to, let's say, E point here, okay, so, um, all the liquid will definitely solidify. So, there will be no more liquid. It will be completely solid. And the microstructure will have, will, will, uh, will form something like this. 
okay the final product is what we call as polycrystalline alpha phase solid solution which has a uniform of 35 weight percent of nickel and 65 weight percent of copper composition okay so subsequent cooling will produce no microstructural or compositional changes so this will remain um, uh, the same upon further cooling.